Welcome to a little review of America's Centennial Mass on April 18th, uh, which was at St. Ignatius Church at 83rd and Park in New York City, where we gave thanks to God for 100 years of uh, our apostolate. Um, we had a, a whole lot of people there from all sort of walks of life. Uh, we had readers and um, uh, journalists, fellow journalists, uh, authors. Uh, Father Christensen gave an introductory um, set of remarks. And then um, we had uh, Archbishop Migliore, uh, who was our principal celebrant. He's the Vatican Nuncio to the UN. And Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, the former Archbishop of Washington, D.C., was our homilist. It was a wonderful event to um, be able to give thanks to God for um, not only our readers and our benefactors, but uh, but also the um, the editors that came before us. Karen Smith um, had one of the readings, and Pat Kosman, our literary editor, um, both did readings at the Mass. It uh, was a very grand space. Um, as you can see, St. Ignatius Loyola uh, is quite a, a dazzling space. It's just been restored um, a few uh, months ago, and so it was a wonderful way to, to celebrate in this grand Mass with uh, the famous... St. Ignatius Loyal Choir. There you can see some of the uh, the dazzling space in which we were able to celebrate. Uh, we had about 32 priests, um, not only Jesuits, but religious uh, and uh, priest readers who sort of surprised us at the last minute who came to celebrate Mass from uh, with us uh, from really uh, all over the area. Uh, we had about, um, I would say, 250, 300 uh, uh, of the faithful um, of our, our friends. That's Father Tom Smolich, who's the head of the U.S. Jesuit Conference. Uh, that's me, the MC, looking very nervous about all the liturgical stuff that I was supposed to be in charge of. And there you get a sense of all the different people um, who came to celebrate with us. Uh, it really um, was a wonderful event. Cardinal McCarrick spoke uh, a mass about, uh, spoke a homily about um, uh, Thanksgiving and uh, the need to give thanks. He used the uh, the, the story of the the nine ungrateful lepers and the one grateful leper who says thanks. And there's a uh, pictures of our reception downstairs uh, in Wallace Hall. Um, it was wonderful to be able to meet so many people who had just been, say, names to us. And I think a lot of the readers enjoyed meeting people, um, you know, who they knew just from the Mass. There's my mother visiting with Archbishop Migliore, two fellow Italians. They were very happy to meet one another. And I have to say, Cardinal McCarrick and Archbishop Migliore were just delightful and relaxed, and uh, also very relaxed about a lot of the protocol, which is nice. Jan Attridge on the left uh, is our publisher. She gave a presentation, uh, including the video, which is on our uh, website of our centennial. And then uh, Father Drew Christensen, our editor-in-chief, uh, introduced all of the editors, which was quite a nice touch. Uh, there he is with Sister Camille D'Arienzo, um, one of our longtime uh, writers. Uh, she's a Mercy sister. And there's uh, Rocco Pamo, uh, who's the uh, famous blogger on Whispers in the Loja. There's Jan uh, giving a little precy of what happens in America and at this point, uh, Drew was beginning to introduce some of the editors. So two things we all agreed on. Um, it was wonderful to meet uh, so many of the readers uh, and supporters and benefactors. Uh, and second of all, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it was a real celebratory event. And uh, we also prayed for all of our readers, uh, which includes you. So thank you very much. <laughs>